So this was during a night dive in the Philippines. This is a blackfin snake eel, which is normally almost completely buried in the sand. But this time it was out, but it seemed it didn't like my video lights. So this is what happened. <laughs> so this really hit me. The animal is probably about a meter long. It knocked the camera out of my hands. So here you can see the same encounter again in slow motion. That eel was somehow bothered by my video lights and just hit me with all its strength. So this is the same eel just a minute later. So this is how we normally see them. That they are buried in the sand, only the head is looking out and they're waiting for prey fish to come by. So it was a rare occasion to see it swimming freely. It was even rarer that it would attack a diver. Same dive just a few minutes later. So there are two crabs fighting here. You can see them lock claws. What kind of fight is this? Seems to be some kind of MMA rules fight. So fighting of course is very exhausting and so there's a tasty worm coming by. The crab on the right decides, well, I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna continue with the fight. Now, it, the snake didn't actually help, so the crab on the left is getting some kind of takedown here. So it picks up the other crab and uh, throws it uh, on the sand. Now, here we see the same thing in slow motion again. Tasty worm, you know, a lot of protein here, really a lot of energy which you need, but then here we see the takedown. So. The crab on the left lifts him up and throws him away. Now here we have a fire worm, what's also sometimes called a bristle worm. This, so this is an annelid worm. Same dive, again just a few minutes later. Now this is a nasty animal. You don't want to touch that. Uh, this is really going to make your hands swell up. So I was really careful. You can also see all these little shrimp which are all around the worm. So there was a lot of plankton in the water during that night dive. Now, this is a spectacular animal in itself. But what really got me excited that uh, it was eating something. So if you look to the right of this fire worm, you can see it's eating a crab. Now, I'm not sure if it had killed the crab or if it had found a dead crab and if it's scavenging or if it's just uh, basically eating up a mold of a crab. I uh, can't tell anymore. So at, by that point, the crab or what was left of it wasn't moving anymore. Now, the uh, fire worm is really having a field day here. So that's a good chunk of food. Now, here in, in this view from this angle you can see the carpus of the crab better and the fire worm is going around it and it's it's trying to chew all the meat or you know whatever is, is digestible for this animal uh, off that carpus so you know the more you dive with a camera the more of these interesting behaviors you find so i'm actually really stoked to get this bristle worm feeding on camera here. So here we have a bobtail squid. So again, this is the same muck dive, the same night dive in the sandy area of Negros Island in the Philippines. These animals are among the smallest cephalopods. They're probably only about a centimeter and a half long and there were so many of them around. So very interesting, like most other cephalopods, they can change colors. So you can see the spots, these comophores, and you can also see how all that plankton bumped into this little squid. Now, this one is getting annoyed, probably by my video light, but also probably by the plankton, which was attracted by my video light. And so it's, it's turning white. And what they also do, they have this defensive behavior that they dig themselves into the sand. So these are animals, which I barely ever see during the day. They're, they're fairly abundant at night. And, you know, obviously they're, they're not gonna, swim somewhere completely else so i'm suspecting that during the day they're just you know a cup a centimeter or less below the sand and when they see a video light they dig themselves in 
often their eyes keep sticking out so that they, you know they are safe but they are still looking okay more action from still that single same dive now this is a swimming crab they're very abundant we're in the seagrass here this is only about three meters deep these are actually quite tasty i'm not a big seafood eater but you know, my neighbors like to catch them and they're big crabs so probably the carpus is about the size of a man's hand and you know they are very active animals they run around i would love to know the correct id for this crab highly highly curious animal tiny body very long legs and if you look at the legs they're completely covered in these hydroids so these hydroids are both a type of camouflage you know the the crab legs look like a tiny stick with something growing on it and they're also stinging so it's a defensive measure and you know again just like the bobtail squid before this crab likes to dig itself into the sand when it realizes that it was discovered so you know what a bizarre animal tiny body really really long legs and then all of these hydroids you know which are stinging animals on their legs amazing stuff which we see at night now there is a scorpion fish which i believe is a juvenile mozambique scorpion fish and these are actually fairly abundant you know in the sandy areas on these muck diving sites at night i think this is the correct id again you know what a character this fish face has now more stuff this is a pygmy lionfish and again you know these animals are fairly venomous their dorsal fin spines will sting you and so hence you know this beautiful warning coloration what a beautiful fish there is another fish i believe it's some kind of scorpion fish which i just briefly spotted in the sand this is less than two meters deep and always a favorite these cowfish so you know this is a box fish a relative of the puffer fishes and they are they have this body covered in this armored bony plate so their body is very stiff but they they can maneuver very very well with their fins and they are foraging i assume for crabs and other invertebrates in this sandy area there which i dive a lot so fascinating fish you know look at the colors look at these horns and finally there is a snail and you know being more of a fish guy than an invert guy again i would love to get a proper id for this one cool muck diving all of that footage was from a single muck dive i hope you enjoyed that and see you soon